the last dog that we have for you today is one that's been on the show before. This is Saul, and Saul is one of our longtime residents. He's been with us since November 21st, uh, and uh, that's a long time. Um, but, uh, you know, we are still hopeful that Saul is going to find the right family, um, as we are with all of our animals. And I think um, Saul is, is the epitome of don't judge a book by its cover, mm -hmm. right? So when you look at Saul, you're like, he's got, you know, he, he looks like he's a super old dog. He has some, you know, allergy issues and some old pressure sores. Definitely not, didn't live a, a, the best situation, the best life before coming to our facility. Um, and we've done a lot to kind of um, get Saul, you know, in good health. Um, we've gotten him a dental, um, you know, given him all of the medication he needs for his skin. Um, and, uh, you know, while he looks like an older dog, in his mind, he thinks he's like eight months old, right? He has the energy level of all of our younger dogs. Uh, in fact, maybe higher energy than some of those guys. Um, he loves to run and play in the play yard. He loves to go on walks. He loves to, of course, sniff everything. And uh, he is a volunteer favorite. In fact, he was out the other day, and one of the other volunteers was like, I think I need to take him out again because I don't think he got enough cuddles because I think he played, but he didn't get any cuddles. So um, all the volunteers are very conscious of making sure that Saul gets all of the things that he enjoys best in life. Um, but also Saul in his kennel doesn't have the greatest uh, kennel behavior. Um, he is a bit of a demand barker. He likes to let everybody know that he wants treats and he wants out and um, he wants to go for his walks and he gets jealous when the other dogs are going out and he likes to, to cause a bit of a ruckus. But when you get him out, this is what you get. Like he's super calm and relaxed. Um, you know, doesn't have any issues with other dogs when he's out. He's able to go on outings with our volunteers um, because he's so, you know, easy and well-tempered and well-behaved. So um, definitely, if you're you're considering adopting an older dog, um, don't be put off by what you see when you walk past Saul in the kennel. Definitely see him outside. We've seen it with many of our other dogs like Woodstock. Definitely didn't show well in his kennel. Winston, um, all of those guys have found their forever homes. And so Saul's just kind of waiting for his chance as well. So during the months that he's been here, we've learned a lot about Saul. And recently we learned something that we didn't already know through that time. Yeah. And it may help him get adopted. What is that? So um, he did have a, a potential adopter um, that has since fallen through, but they had a cat. So we had to walk Saul through the cat floor. And uh, Saul didn't really have a lot of issues with the cats. You know, one of our very vocal cats, Carson, came right up. Um, and Saul was interested, but according to, you know, the staff member who, who walked him through, you know, with proper introductions and cats that are a little bit more confident, maybe are, aren't going to run away from from him, um, he would do fine in, in a house with a ha with a cat. So um, if you're you know worried about you know maybe you've been interested in Saul and wondered you know worried about you know how is he going to do with my cat? Seems like if you're doing all the right things and kind of um, following the standard protocol, he would be fine in the household with a cat. So that's one of those barriers down that that isn't going to impede Saul anymore. Um, if you are interested in helping us find a, a great forever home for this longtime resident. You, you could be the adopter. You could come in and visit him by going to, you know, visit fcac.as.me, or you can hit our, up our social media and share all of Saul's pictures so that um, other people are going to get a chance to, to see him, to learn about him, and maybe one of your friends or your friend's friends is going to be the, the, the owner who has been waiting for Saul. 